One of my favorite Paul Harvey, the rest of the story stories, is about a man who loved a particular fishing tournament. It had lots of prizes, but the big prize was $50,000 for the tag fish. This particular year, he was running late because of work and really didn't have time to make the preparations and get everything together. Frustrated, on the way to the tournament, he kicked in the self-talk. Every year, I pay the $200 fee, and every year, I never win anything. So he decided to just enjoy the fishing and not pay the fee. He arrived, put his boat in the water, and at the sound of the start, he went to his favorite spot for a relaxing day of fishing. On the third cast, Joe Creasy caught the tag fish. What would you do? I know what you're thinking. Slap that puppy in a live well, go to the station, pay my fee, go fish for a couple of hours, go back to the station, then it's show me the ticket, show me the fish, show me the money. But not Creasy. He went to the station, handed them the fish, and they were very excited because it had been years since someone had actually caught the prize fish. But then he told them, I don't have a ticket. I didn't pay the fee. So they basically said, no shoes, no shirt, no service. Creasy was left empty handed. There was a taxidermist there who volunteered to mount that fish for him for free. Paul Harvey says that the rest of the story is that every time he sees the fish, it is a reminder to him of his failure to do what he needed to do. It's one of the few times that I disagree with Mr. Harvey. You see, I think that every time he sees the fish on the wall, it's not a reminder of his failure. It is a trophy to his integrity. It's a trophy that says he could not be bought even for $50,000. We who come to Jesus belong to Jesus. We are a trophy of His grace on display for the world to see. The contemporary wording of 2 Corinthians 2.14 says, In Christ, God leads us from place to place in one perpetual display of victory. Through us, He brings the knowledge of Christ. There is a saying, reputation is who people think we are. Character, integrity, is who we are when no one is looking. William Barclay, a Bible scholar, says, a man's message will always be heard in the context of his character. So allow me to ask, what does the trophy of your life say to a watching world? Just a thought.